In this video, I'll show you how to record video on the phone via the app and on the drone. You can see now the drone is turned off and the controller is turned off. I have the app here. What I need to do now is to turn on the drone and connect it to my phone via Wi-Fi. Let's see how it will behave. I'm going to settings, going to network connections, to Wi-Fi. I turn on the drone. Now you see the drone is not synchronized with the controller, but you will see that the connection will be available. It may take some time. Now you see the connection has appeared. In my case it's connecting automatically because I have connected the drone before. Let's see what happens if we forget this network and how we should connect if we connect for the first time. So I see this network here. I'll go to connect and it's also connecting without any problem so there's no authentication required. Let's now go to the application. It will tell you that this Wi-Fi connection doesn't have internet access. That's normal behavior. Now we'll go to the app called eShine FPV. Now you see the settings. We have some parameters on and off. Uh, the, the settings preview 720p doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect the, uh, how the video is recorded. Where you need to go is to the push the play button. And you will see immediately that the screen is showing you the picture from the camera of the drone. As you can see. So with the SD card out, you can push the button with the camera symbol on it and you will see that it will show you the seconds ticking saying that it's recording now and it's recording to the phone. Let's turn it off and see what we have in the album. We'll go to the gallery and you see I have this video here already. And if we look at the details, you'll see that the resolution is 1280 per 720 pixels. That's how it records to the phone with this resolution. Let's go back to the app. And let's now, let's now synchronize our control with the drone and fly it with the camera on. We start recording it and we'll start. Turn on the headless mode to make it easier to control indoors. And let's see what we've got here. We need to see the second video, and you can see it's here. And you can see the picture is there. And you can see how it's flying. So we've got the video here. And let's see how we record video on the drone. 
we need to turn, put the uh, SD card in and what well, let's see what happens when we push the record button when the SD card is in you see there's no second sticking which means that the video is now recording unfortunately you don't see any indication of it rather than the symbol becoming of a blue color that's one of the drawbacks i think of this interface but let's run it and stop the video and i'll show you how it recorded the file on the computer and I've checked the settings of the file it says that it's been recorded with uh, 1920 per 1080 pixels with 25 frames per second as stated by the manufacturer so just remember if you put SD card in it will record on the SD card if you take out the SD card then it will record into the phone directly.